Hey guys, Technology with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you all the things you need to do before changing your iPhone, whether you're upgrading from an old iPhone to a new iPhone or simply switching from one device to another. These are the things you want to follow in order to successfully move your things over and ensure that you have it on your new iPhone. So let's get started. So very first thing you want to do when it comes to moving everything over is if you want to declutter your iPhone that you have and the way you do that it's gonna be really simple here first thing you're gonna do is go into your settings of your iPhone and once you go into your settings here you're gonna to go to general and then iPhone storage and your iPhone will make recommendation for things you can do to clear up your storage and the reason why you want to clear up is that if you have a lot of data it's harder to move them over it takes a lot longer and sometimes it might help your performance of your iPhone so if you have apps that don't you use you can simply go ahead and click on each one and delete it from here and if you have like large photos and videos that you like to delete you can also go into your photos apps and such and just go ahead and delete them individually as well and you see freeing up your storage will definitely help the next thing you also want to do is go into your app store of your iPhone click on your profile up here and ensure that you update all of your apps and the reason why I want to do that is that when you're moving from one iPhone to another if the app is running an older version here and your iPhone the newer one is a newer version it might cause some issues so click on update all if you haven't done so and you'll see your list of all apps that need to be updated in the list here you can individually do it or just click on that update all button and wait till it updates all of them the next thing you also want to do is update your iPhone to the version the latest version most likely if you're getting a new phone because it already has the latest version you go into your settings and this time you will go to general software update and look to see if there's a software update available and if there is it's going to show up like this you're going to click on update now and update your phone make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged is connected to a charger and a good strong Wi-Fi or cellular data so that it can update and complete the software update as it will be important after you have done the software update the next thing you're gonna do is ensure that you back up your device here now there's two different ways to back up your phone first method it's gonna be probably the easiest it's by going to your settings click on your name here click on iCloud and then you're going to do an iCloud backup and then you'll turn this on if you haven't turned it on and it will start doing a backup for you and you can click on backup now here and give it some time to back up your phone now if you don't want to back up to iCloud you can also back up to the iTunes or the finder app on the newer MacBook so you have a copy there but it's important that you back up everything because you need to move all of your data over to the new phone right so make sure you back it up either iTunes which will back up everything from your photos videos and apps as well but if you do it through iCloud backup your apps you'll have to download individually all the data will come with it like your photos videos contacts and much more the next thing you want to do is if you already have a sim card e sim card here set up if you go here to your cellular here and you have an e sim card you need to transfer that over how can you do that that's going to happen during the process of when you set up your new phone it's going to ask you if you want to set up the eSIM along with it or if you have a physical SIM card like a phone that an older phone that has a physical SIM card you need to ensure that you remove the SIM card which the SIM card slot will be here on the side of your phone which is going to be for iPhone 12 and older generation and you have a SIM ejector tool here if you have this or you can take a paper clip you're going to want to pop out the old SIM card so that you can put it on the new SIM card. It will be right here in the SIM slot here. And then after you do that, of course, if your new phone is, again, one that does have a physical SIM card, you can go ahead and put the physical SIM card in the new one with the same method as well. And like I said, for eSIM card, you just will move it over when you're setting up the phone, which I'm going to show you in a second. So. What will happen is if you have a new phone like this one, I have iPhone 15 Pro, I'm going from the 14 Pro, you can click on here, set up. And as you can see here, this menu will pop up just like this. You'll hit continue here, you'll hit English, language, and then continue. And it will do a quick setup and all you can do is 
hold this phone just like that and it will set it up like that or you can do it manually as well by putting in the code here and for some reason if this doesn't pop up let's say this doesn't pop up for you you can always do set up with another device uh, and then you're going to sign into the Wi-Fi here so I'm going to sign into Wi-Fi quickly and once you sign into your Wi-Fi it will ask basically on how you want to transfer your data again you can use the iCloud backup if you did the iCloud backup or iTunes backup as well during this process which again would continue here set up for myself you can set up face ID passcode you don't need to do that or you can add a passcode but here as you can see you have the iCloud backup you can do or if you have another iPhone you can also do a side by side here just like that where it does a quick setup again or again like I said basically you can go through this process and go ahead and do iCloud backup here so if you do iCloud backup you can sign into your device and then it will backup or restore your data that you have the key thing is if you do do that transfer over you'll need to download the apps that haven't been moved and verify that everything has completely moved over to the new phone and finally uh, when you do change your phone and everything is good to go you can erase your older iPhone by going to your settings general transfer reset iPhone and if you're, this is something you will do you erase all the content if you're either trading it in giving it away or selling your old iPhone so that you can remove all of your data from this phone but before again you do that to make sure your new phone is all set up and ready to go when you delete erase iPhone this will be removed from this device but the new device will have all of your information and that's how you're gonna do in terms of moving from one iPhone to another that's all you need to know I hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time